So you found the perfect VA, great. Now how do you work with them? Let's discuss. If you missed my last video, we just talked about how I was able to hire my first virtual assistant that has helped me manage my Etsy store in terms of both my customer service and listing all my products. So if you're interested in that, go watch part one first. But what happens after you find that special someone and not your boyfriend? So this is where you're gonna put your organizational skills to test. You need to start documenting what you do. You need to start creating processes. I was very, very guilty of not doing this before hiring my VA. I had written down nothing. Everything was all up in here. And that meant for a long time, I never hired anyone because I thought I was the only one who could do anything because I had all this knowledge. Problem was, was I just never wrote it down to share with anybody. And I changed my mind on things all the time based on how I was feeling that day. So once I hired my VA, I really started writing down my processes in point form, how I list something, how I answer customer service questions. I went through all my past customer service questions, copied them down and wrote my response. And I had my VA look through all of those. I had her go through my old messages to read through them. Anything that your VA needs to do that you did needs to be documented and it needs to be stored somewhere for them to find. My ultimate organization tool, which I started using just when I hired this VA, because again, everything was in a jumble. If my head and my processes were a desk, it would be just covered in miscellaneous papers. But I started using Notion and that has been a game changer. And Notion is free, which is amazing. So on Notion, you can have a shared board and a private board. So I have my own private board full of my own documents. So pretty much my whole life and all of my businesses are now on a one Notion. And then I have a shared notion with her as well that where we can share all of our information pretty much like a Google Drive but way better then you're also gonna want to create some documents for them to sign just so you guys are on the same page the ones I created were just an agreement and then I had my NDA which is a non-disclosure agreement saying that they could not tell people what my Etsy store was it was just about keeping your information private and then a non-compete clause as well these can sound super overwhelming but thank God for AI and I use chat GPT to help me write these and then just changed up what I needed. In the agreement, I made sure to put the amount of pay that we had agreed upon, the hours, and just anything that is important to both of your agreements that you came upon when you guys decided to work together. The issue sometimes that a lot of people have with hiring a VA in Etsy is unfortunately Etsy does not have accounts, meaning you can't give someone a separate password and username to get into your account. Unfortunately, you have to share. I wish Etsy had VA account login, but you have to trust this person enough to give them your login. What I've done is I made sure I turned on 2FA for everything. So you can go and change that. So if say someone tried to change my bank account, I would get that information. I would get an email to my email first. And when she's logging in, I actually also have to be on my phone to give her the code to log in. Yes, you can keep stayed logged in. You can maybe log out all of your accounts if you don't trust them at first, but just turning on 2FA for everything has really helped. This is also where you really, really, really need to do your due diligence in hiring and make sure you trust the person. They have experience working for other people and it can be hard to tell, but you're not gonna find someone who's just trying to steal your Etsy store. I have heard online internet horror stories. I don't know if they're real. I've heard of other people having really, really good VAs, but there's always a chance for everything. To manage my passwords with my virtual assistants, I use OnePass, which is an online password keeper that you can share with multiple different people that you can all find your own logins. It's pretty cheap. I think it's like a few dollars a month, but it's a great way to securely keep your passwords. So on their first days, it's going to be the hardest. They're going to be starting. You are trying to figure out how you're working together. Make sure you get your notion set up. If you can preemptively create as many processes as possible by putting as much information as possible into your notion, you can have things like the pricing you usually set. I have all my descriptions. I have a no on how I find my keywords. And then you should be doing some video calls with them as well. For me, it was super helpful because I actually own my own Etsy course. So for the first few days, I just had my VA go through my course. But if you do not have that, then you may need to be doing some calls with them. Or if you paid for a course, give them access to that as well. But I still did do live calls every single day with her while we did listings together. The first few ones I would do and just have her shadow. And then the next day I would have her do all the 
listings while I shadowed. One mistake I made was not recording these, even though I already have like my walkthroughs in my course, make sure you are recording these in case you ever need another VA in the future. Then you don't have to consistently do these live calls, even though either way you should be doing a live call with your VA just to keep in touch with them and keep that relationship up. I downloaded Slack and both me and my VA are on Slack and we have a few different channels, a fun chat. We have a general chat, a design chat. You can keep it all in one if you would like, or you can have different channels. This might be helpful if your team grows later in the future so you can have different channels and assign them to different people. But Slack has been a great way for us to keep in contact. And when there has been customer service issues at the start that she did not know how to answer, then we would just quickly hop on a call whenever and answer them together. Or so that they start learning how to handle these themselves, I would have them write up a hypothetical response, send it to me first and I would approve it. And then I would do that for like the first month or so that they were hired until you're comfortable enough with them and they're able to just take on all the answering by themselves. One thing that's helped me manage my VA is having to-do boards. I have a to-do in the background and a emergency to-do. Emergency to-dos are things that need to be done right as she logs in. And then I have background to-dos that if she has free time to work on. Some background to-dos are like asking people for reviews, getting up some new listings, while urgent ones may be looking at an order that is stuck, dealing with a customer, or anything that I want done right away. This way, something's always being done with her time, it's not being wasted and it's always being spent towards your growth. And make sure with your VA, you are having regular touch bases. Me and my VA have a call usually every Monday where we just talk about what is going on, any flags, any upcoming holidays, and just to have that type of personal relationship. I also like to ask her what she would like to grow on. You need to show someone you're interested in their growth. Make sure they're not bored. Ask what you can be doing better for them. Exactly like your job post, they're not just trying to appeal to you. You want to appeal to them too, so you have a long relationship with them. You don't want VAs that are gonna be quitting every three months on you because trust me, the hiring and the training is so annoying. My VA has been with me seven months and I hope she stays for longer because it has been super beneficial, I think, for both of us. All right, guys, thank you so much. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. I'm sure there's things I've missed. I've kind of just gone on a big blabber um, today. And let me know if you're gonna be interested in hiring your own VA. Thanks guys.